Hey, what's up guys? So yesterday Horror Night teased about something that was coming today. Obviously, if you saw the teaser, you knew what was coming. It was no surprise there. Um, we have Chance. Chance is back. Chance is our icon for Halloween Horror Nights 26. Lock me away. It's all just a show. I'll make you pay. He won't let you go. While Jack's away, it's my turn to dance. My turn to play. You won't stand a chance. <laughs> Not only did we get that she is the icon, but we have some more details about the event this year. Basically, Chance is our icon. The whole entire event is going to be themed around her being the center of attention. Much like how Jack was last year with the presence and being everywhere, it's not going to be Chance. So what kicks off is that after, right after last year, they're going with the story that takes off right after Halloween Horror Nights 25. Carnage is finished and Chance is arrested basically and put in prison. Now, instead of that being her prison, she escapes within her mind, treating the prison as basically a giant toy box for her. So what they showed us in the trailer is that Chance has now, has two identities. She has, you know, her regular, you know, crazy, uh, reality self and then she has her basically in her mind fantasy type world chance and so we're gonna see both of these represented at the event not only is chance the icon of this event she has her own demented house and as well as a scare zone basically featuring her my best guess is that in the house we're going to see it probably be something maybe like a prison, something maybe like a carnival type house. And we're gonna get both sides represented of Chance's mind. I think we're gonna see something kinda like what they did with Alice in Wonderland last year, but on a much bigger scale. Now also in the scare zone, I do believe we're gonna see both sides represented. As far as I'm guessing, we're gonna have uh, a different chance on each cast and different characters on each cast. That's what I believe we're going to see as far as the scare zones related. Now, I'm not sure if Chance is going to have a stage show. I would say I'm leaning towards a yes on that because last year uh, Jack's Carnival of Carnage was a major hit. Not only crowd size, the way it performed, um, it drew in crowds, uh, positive reviews, I just don't see why they wouldn't try to do that again. I do believe that the Hollywood location is going to be Chance's scare zone, thus leading from her scare zone into her show. They'd be wrong about that and they could be trying to match maybe the haunted house and then when you exit that haunted house you're going to be exiting right into her scare zone. That's kind of my other scenario for maybe where it's going to go. It could go in New York or it could go in... Hollywood. I'm choosing those two locations. Also out of the announcement today, we now can confirm that there is nine houses this year. As opposed to what we had last year, which was eight houses, we will now be having nine houses to go through. And remember so far we have the Walking Dead, we have Texas Chainsaw Massacre, we have The Exorcist, and we now know that Chance has a house. We're not too sure yet on the code name and if it's the Uber Maze or the Requel. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section. Are you excited about Chance? Are you, you know, happy about nine houses? Uh, what are your thoughts about her having a house and a scare zone as well? 
um, leave it down in the comment section. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace. Also to know, I'm going to have a separate video covering all the ticket pricing information. I just wanted to leave this one to be just about the announcement and just about the icon herself.